configure other channel, port channel table, channel group 1 between S1 and S3, port aggregation protocol between S1 and S3, group 1 port aggregation protocol, group 2 between S1 and S2 LACP, group 2 between S1 and S2 LACP, group 3 between S2 and S3 negotiated LACP, port uh, group 3 between S2 and S3 LACP negotiated LACP. Configure basic switch settings host name according the topology diagram. We go to S1. Enter enable configure terminal hostname S1. S2. Enter enable configure terminal hostname S2. S3. Enter enable configure terminal hostname S3. Configure all ports that are required for the other channels as static trunk ports. Okay, for example, on S1, configure 21 and 22 and gigabit 01 and 02. On S2, 23 and 24 and gigabit 01 and 02. On S3, 21 and 22 and 23 and 24. If the ports are configured with DTP dynamic auto mode and you do not set the mode of the ports to trunk, the links do not form trunks and remain access ports. The default mode on a 2960 switch is for DTP to be enabled and set to dynamic auto. DTP can, can be disabled on the interfaces with the switch port non negotiate command. For example, on S1, 21, 22, gigabit 01, 02. Interface range, fast Ethernet, 21, 22, dash 22, comma, gigabit 01, dash 02. Enter, switch port mode trunk. And switch port, non negotiate. No negotiate. Okay, sorry, no nego. She ate. Enter. Okay. Go to S2, gigabit 0, 01, 0, 02, 23, and 24. Enter. Interface range for Saturn 23, 24, gigabit 0, 01, 0, 02. Switch port no trunk. Switch port no negotiate. S3. Enter interface range fast Ethernet 21, 22, 23, 24. From 21 to 24. Switch port mode trunk. Switch port no negotiate. Enter. For example, on S3, verify and on privilege exit mode, do the following show interfaces trunk. Show interfaces trunk. Enter. Now you will see 21, 22, 23, and 24 as trunking. Trunking interfaces. Okay, 21, 22, 23, 24. 
the same way on S1, for example, and show interface strong. Okay, 21, 22 gigabit 01 and 02 striking interfaces. 21, 22 gigabit 01, 02. Okay, this is the first requirement to trunking interfaces. Now, configure other channel with Cisco port aggregation protocol. When configuring other channels, it is recommended to shut down the physical ports being grouped on both devices before configuring them into channel groups. Otherwise, other channel misconfig word may place these ports into error disabled state. The ports and port channel can be re enabled after other channel is configured. Configure port channel number one. This is port channel number one between S1 and S2. Use port aggregation protocol. Go to S1 and 21 and 22 configure terminal interface range 21 and 22 shut down the interfaces shut down okay is recommended now use port channel number one so use the following command channel group number one and the mode if you will configure port aggregation protocol, use the desirable, desirable command. The mode desirable option enables the switch to actively negotiate to form port aggregation protocol link. Okay, mode desirable. Enter. And you will see this message creating a port channel interface, port channel number one. Okay. Go to S3, 21 and 22. Enter configure terminal. 21 and 22. Interface range 21, 22. Shut down. Ch channel group number one mode desirable the same configuration as the another side and the, go to s1 no shut down no shut down and go to s3 no shut down very good the message creating a port channel interface port channel one should appear on both switches when the channel group is configured. Okay. Creating a port channel interface, port channel number one. This is a logical, uh, logical interface, port channel number one. A new interface is created. Configure the logical interface to become a trunk. Okay, on S1, port channel 1, trunk, on S3, port channel 1, trunk. S1, enter. Interface, port channel 1. Switch port mode trunk. S3, interface port dash channel 1. Switch port no trunk. Okay, then verify. Use this command show at the channel summary. Okay, for example, on S3 and show at the channel summary. Enter. Okay, you will see group number one, port channel number one, SU. S because it's a layer to interface and U in use. So it's very well configured. Protocol, port aggregation protocol and ports 21 and 22 with P state in port channel. Very good. 
Another way to verify is show interface struct. You will see instead of 21 and 22 ports, you will see port channel 1 as the trunking port. Very nice. The same way on S1 and show interfaces trunk. Port channel 1 is the trunk port instead of 21 and 22 ports. Configure an AO2.3AD LACP header channel. Configure port channel number 2. Port channel number 2 LACP between S1 and S2. In 2000, the I tripoli released AO2.3 AD, which is an open standard version of Ether Channel. It is commonly referred uh, to as LACP. Okay, um, go to S1, gigabit 01 and 02. Configure, configure terminal, interface range. Gigabit uh, interface range gigabit zero one and zero two. Okay, shut down channel group number two. One is already in use. Okay, on S1, uh, one is already in use and mode active. At active mode indicates that the switch actively tries to negotiate. That link is LACP. Okay, use the active keyword for LACP. Enter. Create the port channel, port channel number two. Go to S2 and configure gigabit 01 and 02. S2, enter interface range, gigabit 01 and 02. Shut down. Channel group two mode active. Okay, go to S1, no shutdown. Go to S2, no shutdown. Very good. Now verify. For example, on um, S2 and show interface trunk. Port channel number two is trunk instead of gigabit 01 and 02. Show ether channel summary. Enter. Okay, ether channel th. Okay, group number two, port channel number two, su, layer two in use, layer two in use, and protocol LACP. Gigabit 01 and 02 with P, P state in port channel. Go to S1, enter, and show interface trunk. You will see port channel 1 and port channel 2 as uh, trunks. Okay, logical interfaces as trunks, not physical interfaces. And show at the channel summary. Enter. Port channel one uses port aggregation protocol and two LACP. Show running config. Okay, verify this uh, interface port channel number two, switch port mode trunk and switch port non negotiate. Space, space. Um, I only configured the gigabit uh, 01 and 02. I only configured the physical interfaces with uh, channel group and the new logical interface for channel 2 created will get automatically the configuration of switch port mode trunk and switch port non negotiate. Okay, we'll get 
automatically the configuration of the physical interfaces, switchboard trunk and switchboard non-negotiate. But anyway, to be sure, but anyway, to be sure, configure the logical interfaces. Configure terminal interface port channel number two, switch port mode trunk, and go to S2. Configure terminal interface port channel two, switch port mode trunk. Configure a redundant other channel link. Configure port channel 3. This is port channel 3 between S2 and, S and S3. Okay, go to S2 and configure 23 and 24. Okay, on S2, exit, interface, range, facet, and 23 and 24. Enter. Okay, shut down the interfaces, shut down. Okay, 23 and 24, shut down. 23 and 24, shut down. And okay, channel group, okay, number three, on S2, uh, number three, mode, and use the question mark to view the options. You have five options. Active LACP unconditionally, auto port aggregation protocol only if a port aggregation protocol device is detected on the another side, desirable pro port aggregation protocol unconditionally on other channel only, and passive LACP only if an LACP device is detected on the another side. Okay, on S2, 23 and 24 ports use mode passive. On S2, uh, ports 23, 23 and 24 use uh, passive only if an LACP device is detected in the another side. Okay, use mode passive on S2, ports 23 and 24. Okay, 23 and 24 mode passive for LACP. LACP. Enter. Okay. Create a port channel, port channel 3. Enter. And, and go to S3. Enter. Enable configure terminal 23 and 24. Interface range for Ethernet 23, 24. Shut down. Don't forget that. Shut down. Uh, on S3, 23, and 24, mode active. Channel group 3, mode active. This is for LACP, but unconditionally active. Enter. Go to S2, no shut down. Go to S3, no shut down. And don't forget to configure the logical interface on both sides as the trunk. Okay, go to S2, interface, port, channel uh, 3, switch port mode trunk, S3, enter interface, port, channel 3, Switch port mode trunk. Okay, and um, for example, on S3, verify and show at the channel summa, uh, space summary. Enter. Port channel 1 and port channel 3. 1 port aggregation protocol, 3 LACP. Okay, 1 port aggregation protocol, 3 LACP. And show interfaces trunk. Interfaces trunk. Port channel one and three 
trunking interfaces. Very good. Verify port channel 3, for example, use this command show spanning 3 active. Show spanning 3 active. Enter. Now you will see the following port channel 3 and port channel 1 logical interfaces on spanning 3. Okay, and on S3, port channel 3 designated uh, role, port channel 1 designated, very good. Go to S1, enter, enable, show, spanning, 3, active. Port channel 2, alternating role, okay, port channel 2 alternating so that that's why it's in orange and port channel one root port port channel one uh, this is the root port that means s3 is the root the root root bridge okay s3 this bridge is the root s3 is the root this bridge is the root and configure S1 as the root primary for VLAN1 and or use this another command. Okay, and configure terminal. Spanning tree mode, uh, spanning tree VLAN1 root primary. Enter. Now look at look at this. The negotiation. Now this this port uh, should be green, and now this will be the alternating port. Okay, so wait a moment. Very good, and um, verify. On S1 and show spanning tree active. S1, this bridge is this bridge is the root for uh, channel two and one designated ports. We we'll go to S3, show a spanning tree active, and for channel three alternating. This on orange and uh, port channel one root. Okay, port channel one and root. So that means S1 is the root. Another channel configuration guidelines and uh, restrictions. All Ethernet interfaces support other channel up to a maximum of eight interfaces. All interfaces within an other channel must operate at the same speed and duplex. Other channel links can function as either single VLAN access ports or as strong links between switches. All interfaces in a layer 2 other channel must be members of the same VLAN or be configured as strong. If configured as strong links, Layer 2 other channel must have the same native VLAN and have the same VLANs allowed on both switches connected to the trunk. All interfaces should be shut down prior to the beginning of other channel configuration. When configuration is complete, the links can be re enabled. Verify that all interfaces are in the up up state. It is possible to configure an other channel as a static or for it to use either port aggregation protocol or LACP to negotiate the other channel connection. These are the five options active, LACP enabled unconditionally. 
passive LACP is enabled only if another LACP capable device is connected. Desirable port aggregation protocol unconditionally, although port aggregation protocol is enabled only if another port aggregation protocol capable device is connected. On ether channel is enabled with, without either LACP or port aggregation protocol. LAN ports can form an ether channel using port aggregation protocol if the modes are compatible. Compatible port aggregation protocol modes are desirable on one side, desir desirable on the another side, and desirable on one side and auto on, on the another side. If both are in auto, ether channel cannot form. And this is for LACP. Active on one side, active on another side, active on one side, passive in the another side. If both interfaces are passive, other channel cannot form using LACP. Channel group numbers are local to the individual switch. Also, this activity uses the same channel group number on either end of the other channel connection. It's not a requirement. Channel group 1, interface port channel 1, on one switch can form an other channel with channel group 5, interface port channel 5, on another switch. Okay, 100%. Thank you very much.